Hey folks, this is Roger. I thought I'd do an updated uh, video of my Jensen 51 uh, replica project here. I call it a project. It's been two and a half years in the making, and I continue to tweak it and modify it. And I was going to show a little of the functionality today. As you look at these, uh, this console or uh, metering setup, you've got a DC generator uh, set of switches and uh, voltmeter and milliamp meter on this side. In the center, you've got the AC generator, voltage and milliamps above it. And then over here, you've got the uh, AC amps input. And if you can read that, right now it's taking about 11 amps uh, of heat uh, using uh, two of the three heaters to maintain a pressure. If you zoom in on the pressure there, yeah, about 30, almost 30 pounds uh, per square inch of pressure. So it's uh, got a good head of steam behind it. What I've got uh, over here is the ability to turn these lights on, on and off at will. I can switch off the one on the front of the boiler. I can switch off the one that's on the uh, facing the flywheel. Turn that back on. I can turn the one on and off that controls the console or covers the console. I can turn the one on and off that shines on the generator pod in the rear. And the newest one I added, you can't see it yet because I'm going to turn it on here in a moment, is a light that comes on when I activate the DC motor switch. So when this one's running, when the DC motor is running, the, uh, there's a lamp that illuminates it as well. You can really see that glow in there. That's one I just added this past weekend. In my effort to develop a uh, second uh, Jensen replica, 51 replica, I got thinking uh, I had more DC power from my uh, Peter Santa Maria stepper motor. I got uh, more DC power than I was really able to use. In fact, if I shine down here, turn everything off, you can see, I hope you can see, I've got about 21 DC volts when there's no load on it. So I can uh, pop on a load and you can see I've still got some DC voltage, but I've now got a pretty good consumption of milliamps. It uh, never fails to uh, create enjoyment by uh, just flipping switches on and off as I do uh, at will with this thing. Anyways, I don't want to belabor it. But I did want to show you uh, what the current setup looks like. And I'm going to show you the hours on the meter, if you can read it. That's uh, 8, well, dang, you can't read it. It's about 85 hours is what it's saying, 85 and a half hours. So that's what it's uh, currently got on it in the uh, two plus years since I built this thing. Anyways, that's about it. I'm going to say goodbye now. Take care.